Yes, come on lads, get in. What a win for Newcastle United today. Come on, against Sheffield United at St James's Park. And what a win it was. Newcastle United put in an absolutely sensational performance against Chris Wilder's side. Of course, they had already played their game in hand against Aston Villa before this game. So this, of course, was their second game back after the suspension, of course, of the Premier League, which happened in March. Uh, Newcastle, of course, like I was saying in the preview, played against Southampton last at St Mary's, of course, where we ended up coming away from that game winners. Uh, so we were hoping to go into this game today, coming away with a win and taking the same form that was showed down at St Mary's into the game today against Sheffield United and Newcastle proved exactly that. You know, we did exactly that and we've took the form that we've had in the friendlies as well, uh, warming back up for the Premier League into this match against Sheffield United today and that is why Newcastle United's come away with a 3-0 win against Sheffield United. Now, looking at the teams, you know, Newcastle uh, played way, way better uh, out of the game, you know, we had more possession on the ball, we had a lot more attacking threats uh, on goal as well. Uh, Sheffield United, for me, you know, sat a little bit uh, back too much, they parked the bus, they were very lacklustre when they got hold of the ball, you know, and they didn't seem as though they really wanted to go for a win in this game, they just looked like they were here, you know, to try and take out a few players, maybe get a point out of the game. You know, uh, and Newcastle United weren't going to allow that. Newcastle United took it to Sheffield United today. And there might have been no fans in St James's Park today, but you wouldn't have been able to tell that, you know, by the way Newcastle played on the pitch. We were absolutely fantastic today. One of the best performances I've seen by Newcastle uh, so far this season. Um let us know your thoughts, of course, down in the comments below. But for me, that's probably one of the best performances we've had this season uh, in the Premier League. Uh, you know, and for the goal scorers, you can't ask better than Alan St. Maxim. You know, he got an absolute sensational chance. Uh, Matt Ritchie, quick little low cross ball across the box. Edda Stevens for Sheffield United. Try to clear it, of course. Fell to the floor, a bit like David Dunn uh, for uh, Birmingham City back in the day. Uh, fell on the floor and of course it went straight past into the path of Maximan, the magic man at the back post, banged it in the back of the net past Dean Henderson and put Newcastle United 1 0 up. But before that, of course, five minutes before that, um, John Egger ended up getting himself sent off uh, with a second yellow. What well, he picked up a first yellow in the first half for a little bit of a tussle with Joel Linton. Uh, which, of course, didn't help him in the long run because he did end up getting sent off for Sheffield United, uh, which gave Newcastle that little bit of an advantage. Not that we needed it, though, because we were already dominating the game. Uh, but Newcastle took the lead five minutes after with Alan St. Maxim. Then, of course, uh, Matt Ritchie got a chance to get himself a goal. And, you know, he's going to do it. It's Matt Ritchie. He thunder it from outside the box into the back of the net. And Dean Henderson couldn't even move from the spot. He was grounded right in his goal. And it went flying at the back of the net. A little bit of a curve on it as well. Into the left-hand side of the net. Matt Ritchie putting your casting eight two nil up. Then, of course, the third scorer of the game. And yes, you can guess it if you watch the match. If you haven't watched the match and you're just checking out this review um, as a neutral or as a Newcastle fan then you can guess it, it was Joe Linton, our 40 million striker, uh, who got the ball off of a pass from Miggy Almirin. Nice little easy goal and in into the back of the net for Joe Linton to get his second goal of the Premier League campaign uh, in his first one since August against Tottenham down at their new White Hart Lane Stadium. Now, Looking at the Premier League table, of course, that means that Newcastle are now 12th in the table, 38 points uh, with 30 games played. That means we've got eight games left uh, to play in this campaign. Um, and, you know, what more can you ask for the eight games that we've got left to play? You know, you've got... Uh, Aston Villa in there, you've got Bournemouth in there, there's Man City, there's Liverpool, you know, there's some easy winnable ones and there's some tough ones like the Man City Liverpool one, that's probably going to be a little bit of a tough game, uh, but you know, the next team that we're going to play is Aston Villa uh, and that is going to be on uh, Wednesday, 
I believe uh, for that one. Um, yep, that is going to be the next home game. Uh, that'll be on Wednesday. And then we've got a cup game, of course, against Man City in the FA Cup. Um, so it's going to be a tough run of fixtures, but there is a lot going on at Newcastle United at the moment, of course, with the whole takeover saga still going on. Uh, so hopefully it will be a great week ahead for Newcastle United fans, uh, myself included in that. Uh, so let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Subscribe as well as I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. And I'll see you all next time. And how are the lads?